Good morning. I hope everybody is doing well. I'm fixing to head out and go to church. I'm going to do a video real quick. My hair keeps getting stuck in my earring. Long, long hair problems. <laughs> I can't even really wear earrings when my hair's down. So, it's a struggle. But, my video, what's been on my mind this morning and what I want to share in my video is about faith. And what I'm calling this is, and I'm hoping that my little, my camera will work today. My little tripod I got going. Still ain't got the right mount that I need to have, which I will get. I'm... When you're, like, busy all the time, it's hard to get everything that you need. <laughs> and I'm sure most of us have a list of things that we need to get all the time. And you just don't really get the time to always do it. But, anyway, like I said, video quality, I'm really not worried about that right now. But, what I'm calling this video is Faith is Hard. And the thing about faith is, it's not easy. You know, it's not just, you know, well, I have faith and I believe in God and things like that. No, faith comes when you are overcome with doubt and fear. You know, you may be like me and the devil likes to fight you mentally, you know, and uh, just feed you a lot of negativity. And one of the things that I try to live by, and it's, it's hard sometimes, but one of the things I try to live by is several years ago I had a mentor, and I know I've mentioned this before, but she told me negative out, negative in. And that's always stuck with me. That's something that I really try to live by because it really is true. Okay, so when you're in these times of doubt and negativity and, you know, being scared and probably have been praying about something excuse me but your mind you know the devil just keeps saying well it's never gonna happen you know the bad's gonna happen good's not gonna happen okay this is where faith comes in faith comes in when you either choose to go down that road and i went down that road a lot like i've battled you know, depression and anxiety and things like that a lot in my own life. And you can go down that road, you know, and I've actually explained it as being like a black hole opens up in my mind and everything just goes dark. You know, like you get upset and then everything just goes dark. Your, your outlook on everything, all of it. So you can choose to go down that road or you can choose faith. And faith comes in when you say, I'm going to trust God. I'm not going to worry about this. It's in God's hands. And I know whatever happens, God's will will be done. And he knows what's best for my life. I'm trusting him. And when you choose faith, you choose to let things go. You choose not to worry and sit and dwell. God moves. God opened, opens doors. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> like, I had people in my life, you know, um, brothers and sisters, spiritual people in my life tell me, you've got to lay it down, you've got to let it go, and I kept trying. You know, I would pray, I would try to lay it down, and then, one day, I finally did lay it down. I finally did let it go, and I was like, I get it now. And it's like you... You don't even understand that you're not doing, you know, what you're trying to do until after you finally do it. Because you can want to let go of things. You can want to lay things down. But until you actually wholeheartedly do, until you actually completely step out on faith and just put it all in God's hands, you're not going to realize really that you was still holding on to it, if that makes sense. But faith, that's what that is. That's what faith is, is when 
we completely submit ourselves to God and we say, you know, God, this is yours. This is all yours. It's all you. You're in control and I trust you. I know you're going to take care of me. And that's having faith because a lot of times we're wanting to do it on our own. You know, we're wanting, and I'm having so much trouble with this camera. We're wanting to do it on our own. We're wanting to fix everything. We're thinking, well, I've got to do this, 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 and this, and I've got to control the situation. It's my life, and i got to control it. And that's something for me that has been so hard, that has been, you know, a real challenge, is not being in control of my own life. And I've actually said that. I'm like, I feel like I'm not in control of anything. Not in control of my own life. And the fact of the matter is, we're not. We can't do this on our own. And we have someone who is all-knowing, who knows every single thing and knows us better than we know ourselves. He knows what we need. He's in control. But until we actually give it up and say... All right, God, you know, I've been down here trying to do it my way, and I've made a mess. <laughs> you go ahead. You know what's best. You know the way to go. So, until we do that, it's not, we're not stepping out on faith. And what's been going through my mind here lately is blind faith. I've felt like God has wanted me to have blind faith in Him. No, I don't have reassurance. He's not giving me reassurance. He's not giving me, you know, the little crumbs to go by and little things, you know, in my reality to go by. He wants me to have faith in Him without counting on anybody in the world or anything in the world. He's not going to give me none of that, none of the reassurance, nothing. I have to step out blind faith completely and trust him and that's what it comes down to because you're not really having faith if you're counting on things in life for you to have faith like if you're saying well you know when this good thing happens you know I'm going to trust God you know God's helping me and you know God's in it and everything and we're you know things are going to be good no. Faith is trusting in God when you have no idea what to do. When you have no idea what's going to happen. When you're seriously down to, you're, you feel like you're just lost and you don't know anything. That's where faith comes in. That's when, when you look up and you don't have a clue where to go, that's when faith comes in. That's when you can say, God, I trust you have your way, whichever way, whether it goes my way or whether it doesn't, God, it's yours. I'm yours. Have your way in my life, God. That's faith. And it has taken me so long to even understand the tiniest little fraction of faith. And to me, I don't understand it all. But this, I feel like I've learned this, and this is that tiny little fraction I'm talking about, that it's taken me so long to learn. You know, that faith is not when things are going good. Having faith is when things are going like you ain't got a clue what's going on. And you could sit down and easily be taken over by depression and anxiety and fear and doubt and worry and you could just sit down and cry because you don't have a clue what to do you don't know where to go you don't know what's going to happen in your life you're scared you're praying about multiple things or you're praying for multiple people and you could say it and about worry yourself to death over it but you choose faith you feel peace and you feel joy in your heart because you know your God hears you. You know he's going to take care of it. 
And that's what's so amazing, and that's the beauty of it, is knowing Him, having that intimate relationship with Him, and knowing that He's got you. And that's my thing. That's one of the things that I fight the devil with, and I'm, I'm just, he, he can't, I don't even know how to word it, but one of the things I always say is God has never left me. God has never left me desolate, and he's not going to start now. He's never failed me. He's never let me go hungry or homeless or anything like that. You know, and even if you are, you're still alive. God sustains you. And that's like the other day when I done my video about um, giving credit where credit is due. If you're still alive, God has sustained you. And there is a purpose for your pain. So, if you've had to go without, we've all had to go without things in our life. You know, whether it's materialistic things or whether it's something else, you know, that more, you know, important or serious. We've all had to go without things. And there is a purpose for that. And a lot of times, we will do these things to ourselves because we're not trusting God. We're not putting it in His hands. And we're running around trying to control everything and everybody. And we make a mess. You know, it comes back to that free will. Are you going to let God lead you and do your best to do what He wants you to do? Or are you just going to do what you want to do and make a mess? And sometimes the best way for us to come down to that point of having faith and trusting God and letting Him lead us is we have to be allowed. He has to let us make a mess. He has to let us get ourselves in a big old mess in a bad shape. And then He's like, you know, walks over and squats down beside you as you're sitting there in your mess. You want to try it my way now? <laughs> you know? And it's like, it's amazing. He's so merciful and forgiving and just standing there with open arms to help us. But that's my thought for today about faith and faith is hard. So remember that. Don't think that, oh, it's just going to be easier walk in the park. You know, faith is hard. You have to step out literally a lot of times on blind faith not knowing what's going to happen or what to do but you've got to keep moving you cannot let the devil get you down and get you to just sit there and feel sorry for yourself and have a pity party it does not work trust me i've been there multiple times this is me speaking from experience it comes down to are you going to trust god and keep moving or are you going to sit there and let the devil come just ruin your life and that's what he'll do. But I love you guys. And I hope that video is a help to you. And hopefully I'll see you later. But if you're seeing this on YouTube, feel free to subscribe, share on pages, whatever you want to do. But I'll be praying for y'all. Be praying for me. Have a great Sunday.